like it, but he doesn't have teeth. Does he not have teeth? No. So when he has teeth, is he going to start talking? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> when I am gone there. I think Aya might still be asleep. I want to see. You want to see Aya? Yeah. I think she might still be sleeping. And Jinty. You want to see Jinty as well? Yeah. What about, who, who have you been spending so much time with, giving lots of cuddles to? Stella! <laughs> you missed Stella, hey. What about I am? Yes, I am cuddle. You mean giving I am lots of cuddles, hey? I hold it. I am. How do you hold I am? Yeah. In your arms? Yeah. You yeah. rock him? Rock him. Yeah, and the, hold it. And sit down. Sit down there. Aya, Aya. Good morning, beautiful people. Guys, we made it. We are now like day six of our road trip that me and Atlas took. For those of you who didn't catch our last video, we decided 24 hours out of flying from Brisbane to Cairns that we would go on an adventure. And for me that was really, really exciting. Like in the past before I had an atlas, I, me and my partner Patrick lived this like very, very adventurous lifestyle. And one of the things that came through for me when we were traveling around Greece was that adventure really really lights me up like spontaneous like going hiking going kayaking doing all those sorts of things set my soul like literally on fire like i feel like a deep sense of connection and also energy when i'm doing those sorts of activities and i realized on that trip in greece that when i got pregnant my whole body went into like this safety mode where I couldn't even stand like a mid off the wall. Like I couldn't even like do bouldering because that made my body like go into shock. And so my life became a lot stiller when I became pregnant. And I realized that when Atlas came along that watching him and following him, I stopped moving myself. I stopped putting myself into positions where I was connecting to me and I was more focused on what he needed, um, which I'm sure a lot of mothers can relate to, um, but it really became highlighted to me in Greece that like what I needed <laughs> in my life is adventure. And that's part of like this whole search for a van is like this sense of adventure is like part of who I am. Like at a cellular level, it's part of who I am. And anyway, so when this opportunity came up, when my best mate was like, just come up, they're living in this epic coaster and she's like, just fly up and let's hang out. And I was like, of course I'll do it. And so we booked this trip in like 24 hours. And then the really interesting thing for me was going to bed that night, all this fear came up. And I kind of was just sitting with it and I was like, what is this here for? And I realized that I had all this sense of like impending doom because I was going to be traveling with my son alone. And I was going to be away from, I guess, our safety network, which is my partner Patrick for six days. And so that meant that I had to step up. And what I felt like was coming through was like, but what happens if I'm not enough? What happens if I can't do this? And I recognized that they were like really self-sabotaging patterns and I kind of just let them come up and I was like, thank you for coming up, but I'm still going. Anyway, we got on the plane and we got here and it has been, it has been the most incredible week. It has taught me so much about parenting, but where we have traveled, Oh my lord. So of course I would be lying if I said that like it was incredible and there weren't challenges. Like there's definitely been challenges. And some things that I just didn't expect which is really interesting for me moving into the space of van life. So our son is like 
full on like he loves running and moving all day and uh, one of the things that I noticed is that like when we pull up at places for like lunch if we pull up somewhere where it's like not necessarily so safe for him to run around I'm like what do we do anyway yesterday <laughs> we pulled into Mossman Gorge into the car park and Atlas and Aya were just like because like because Atlas was here Aya was like well if Atlas is out running I'm out running and so I follow them out and we're just in this massive car park and I was like oh how's this gonna go and anyway the kids run into like this area that's kind of like a construction site and I know you're watching this and you're like oh irresponsible parenting but just give me a sec so they run in and they're having these races up to this construction site and in the construction site it's like it's not really a construction site it's like they walk in and I watch them and oh, their brains go into like this I'm here. incredible world of imagination and they start talking about the playground and next minute they're like climbing on things they're moving things they're making voices with the cones <laughs> and I was just sitting there and I was watching them and I was like I want to clean it up. they are absolutely incredible like they have turned this car park into like an adventure playground and of course like you know the way that we are essentially are raising our children is like we spend a lot of time like in one-on-one -on -one time with them so one of the other big challenges for us has been like since we've kind of been traveling alongside each other our kids getting used to spending so much time together as well and us navigating like how much time like as adults like we want to spend with each other talking and then also creating space for our kids but while we are on the topic of Mossman Gorge oh my lord so yesterday we walk into this no. rainforest and it is one of the most beautiful places that I've ever been. I've done a lot of hiking in the Australian bush and I'm associated no. Australia with dry and then I walk into this rainforest and there are massive trees everywhere. There, It is so green like I don't even need to turn up the saturation like it is like the there's this beautiful contrast between the dark leaves and the light leaves and without i think we had realized but our children at this point we've been traveling together for maybe four days and they really all needed some space from each other and without intentionally doing it once we got into mossman gorge we all separated and so i ended up spending the whole afternoon just one-on-one -on -one with atlas and it was <laughs> the best like we he was just running through the he was running through the rainforest and he hiked longer than I have ever seen him hike on his own and he was so excited and he literally just stopped to say hello to people um, that walked past to talk about what he could see good <laughs> we got to this we got to this suspension bridge and there were all these adults on it and they were like quite scared that you could you see the rushing water either. under you and you could see everything out to the side and Atlas just ran screaming down the whole entire bridge like he was so in his element oh, and I just I don't know about you guys but sometimes as a parent I think I get caught up in my head around like am I doing enough or am I working hard enough on creating a future for our family that we so desperately want to fall in and I think sometimes that really pulls me away from being present and yesterday afternoon in the rainforest I felt like I was so deeply present with Atlas for hours you got your rocks how far into the walk are we I find the water. 20 meters? Find the water. How many rocks have we picked up? One. <laughs> Are you going to throw them in the water? Yeah. yeah. Let's go find some water, hey? And then after <laughs> he got to this point where he was just like, Mama, up, up, like I'm done. And he came up on me and he just went straight to sleep. And then I felt like I was in this like moving meditation through the forest. Like it was unbelievable. And I came out of that and I was like, they are, say we were in there for four hours. I was like, that is four hours of my life that I am never going to forget. Like it was just the most incredible afternoon and I had so much fun taking videos and really connecting into being part of something so much bigger than me. And so it was a very, um, it was an incredible afternoon. Anyway, 
some of the other things on a lighter note some of the other incredible things that we have been up to is we have done some a lot of group hiking and we've been trekking out to some absolutely incredible waterfalls like i was saying before i just thought that australia was so dry and coming up into this area in northern queensland i'm like oh my lord like this is incredible <laughs> Um, and the beautiful, the, 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 the beautiful thing about traveling, like as a like with another family, not only are they just the, my favorite people digging? in the entire world, but also is that like we have been able to like create a little bit of space where we can all still get some time alone. Um, <laughs> even the other day, I had three kids and I was looking after them, and I had this moment where I was like, this right here is what I think is so important that raising children together like that really village feel around getting to create and have some time to yourself and it being okay and knowing that your children are so deeply nurtured um, anyway while I'm on that topic something crazy happened yesterday and I know for a lot of people who watch this channel you won't think it's that crazy but Yesterday, I had some time in the bus. Actually, was it? No, it was yesterday. It was the day before. Anyway, I had some time in my friend's beautiful coaster um, to do a little bit of meditating. And I came in here on my own and I was thinking about the van that I really have been looking for. We've been spending months and months and months looking for a van and it just feels like nothing has been aligning. And so I came in here and I, the first thought that I had is like, I should jump on Gumtree. And I was like, girl, you literally have like half an hour to yourself without your son. You do not need to be on your phone. And then it just kind of came again. And I was like, okay, I'm going to listen to this. Even though for the last few months going on Gumtree has kind of been depressing for me because I haven't found what I've been looking for. Anyway, I jump on Gumtree and the very, very first thing that comes up is a Sprinter van really in our price up range hey. that had just yes, gone up. And I was like, no way. Anyway, so I jump on, I call the guy and he was, you know, when you just get that feeling, I was like, this is meant to be like, I, this is our van. I know it's our van. So I call him, he's amazing. We're organizing a mechanical check and we are getting our van. The side note to this and the thing that I find quite humorous because we are like calling in adventure is that the van's in Victoria. So this weekend we might be flying to Victoria if the mechanical check goes all well. We're going to be flying to Melbourne and then road tripping back up to Brisbane in our new Sprinter. What? I just, there's like this level of excitement in me that I feel like I'm kind of holding down because I still feel like there's a huge part of me that's like in shock. I think when you work with people and talk to people a lot about manifesting the things that they want in their life and when you think that you're really good at it but then you also are like realize that you're strangling something because you're so focused on it that's what's been happening for me with a van and for it to actually me have just been like I'm letting go and it comes straight to us I'm like <sighs> yeah I'm super excited about that anyway guys check this out I am about to go to the beach and have some fun with everyone but let me show you what's happening outside this window So Jinty is out there listening to an audio book and Atlas is doing some drawing and my heart feels so full. I think she's doing some journaling. And then somewhere out there, Chris is on the beach with I am and Aya. But I'm gonna go hang out with Atlas for a little bit. And I and I just wanna finish off before <laughs> we're saying that 
everything that you see other people have that you might want or everything that you dream about you can have I know we so often get into this space of like but it's too hard or it's too this or it's too that and it's like this overwhelm comes up and it stops us from doing anything but trust me you can do it and the incredible thing is this feeling <laughs> that comes up when you start doing the things that you actually dream about you're like oh it was here all along <laughs> like i could have this all along anyway everyone i hope you guys have the most beautiful day um if you like what you see here don't forget to subscribe all your support means the absolute world to us and it's really helping our channel to grow so I just wanted to send you so much love and have the most beautiful day.